In late August 2021, members of the Save Grange Lido team met with South Lakeland District Council's Conservation Officer on the Lido site. This meeting gave an opportunity to look inside the Lido once again just a few months before the Council begins work on the first phase of restoration in January 2022. It was in 1931 that Grange over Sands Urban District Council first began work here on the pool and buildings which are now in such a sad state. By July of that year it was reported that 46 men were working on the site and by 1932 the pool was finished and opened for use several weeks before its official opening date. The Grange over Sands bathing pool was formally opened on August the 18th 1932, one of 180 open air pools built in Britain between 1930 and 1939. On August bank holiday in 1932, over 6,000 people visited Grange Baths in one day, and it could then attract 60,000 visitors during its annual 15 week season. Although today we say Lido, or maybe sometimes even Lido, for most of its life it has been affectionately known as Grange Baths, and indeed is still so called by many today. In 2021, that's 89 years since opening, and the Grange over Sands bathing pool is just one year away from a milestone birthday of 90 years. The Lido here in Grange remained popular throughout the 1960s and 70s, but nationally attendances began to decline with the growth of overseas package holidays. Many outdoor pools were closed and demolished, but Grange managed to book this trend and celebrated its 50th anniversary in 1982 with a celebration gala. In 1993, however, a report made clear that improvements carried out in the late 70s were past their reasonable lifetime and too costly to repair. The Lido closed suddenly and was literally abandoned. Photographs taken inside the buildings in recent years are reminiscent of a crime scene, or even, more romantically, of the Marie Celeste, a merchant ship discovered adrift and abandoned by its crew in the Atlantic in 1872. Here at Grange Lido, it feels like everyone simply stopped what they were doing, left the building and locked up behind them. In early 2011, the Save Grange Lido campaign group was formed, and in August 2011, the Lido was granted a Grade 2 listed status by Historic England as a rare and complete example of a 1930s Lido with the survival of all key buildings. An entrance block with upper viewing gallery, sun decks, detached changing wings, terraces, pump house, paddling pool, step diving stage and its unusual mushroom shaped pool. In the decade that followed listing, there were many consultations over the future of the Lido site. In January 2019, Save Grange Lido was incorporated as a community benefit society and began a new dialogue with South Lakeland District Council, which has led to an agreed two-phase approach to the restoration. Safe Grange Lido continues working hard towards its planning application, which is expected early 2022, whilst the Council's first phase of work on site will begin in January 2022. The Council is to restore the central pavilion, sea defences and the terracing. Their first phase commitment does not include work on the side pavilions or diving platform. This work has thus become part of Save Grange Lido's second phase and has added around £500,000 to its funding requirements. The Council's work will take 12 to 18 months. Save Grange Lido's intention is to follow straight on at the end of Phase 1 with full pool restoration. We are confident that the funds to carry straight on with Phase 2 will be available at the end of Phase 1. If that's not the case, Save Grange Lido will take over as tenants of the unfinished site to manage it as a heritage and community venue whilst the rest of the money is raised. 
During this transition period, South Lakeland District Council will install a temporary infill to the pool basin to enable the site to be opened up to the public for the first time since 1993. But Save Grange Lido will be working hard to ensure that this is not needed. Never before have outdoor sports facilities felt to be more important, especially for swimming, as highlighted by the increase in wild swimming and the popularity of the outdoor pools already in existence across the country. The reinstatement of a pool at the heart of this incredible heritage asset will provide an inclusive safe space for all to enjoy whilst benefiting from the health and well-being of outdoor exercise. These swimming trophies were recently rediscovered in a cellar in Victoria Hall in Grange. They date back to the 1940s and brought back many happy memories of the days of learning to swim at Grange Baths, of the Grange Swimming Club and of school and club swimming galas. A restored Lido would give future generations of swimmers the same opportunity to learn to swim and to make the same great memories. To realise this vision, Save Grange Lido's immediate priorities are to submit the planning application and raise sufficient funds for the temporary infill not to be necessary. A community share issue is being prepared to launch here in Grange in early 2022 and we need only look at the case of Jubilee Pool in Penzance to appreciate its potential. Jubilee's community share scheme was a huge success. Investments from as little as £20 allowed them to raise a total of more than £538,000 from 1,380 community investors. This then received a further boost of £100,000 from the Community Shares Booster Programme. Through the Coastal Communities Fund and alongside further match funding from various partners, Jubilee was able to raise a total of £2.94 million, enabling the complete refurbishment of Jubilee Pool. For Jubilee Pool, think Grange Lido. Meanwhile, fundraising continues through the sale of merchandise both online and locally as well as a successful Friends Scheme growing month on month despite the challenges of the pandemic. The Friends Scheme is a great way to support Save Grange Lido and as well as helping with fundraising it shows potential funders the growing support and interest in this project. Details of the Friends Scheme can be found on our website www.savegrangelido.co.uk In September 2021, MPs Simon Fell and Tim Farron visited the Lido site to meet with Councillor Robin Ashcroft and trustees and members of Save Grange Lido. It was a positive meeting with discussions of how all could work together towards the goal of reinstatement of the pool in Phase 2 of the works. A rejuvenated Grange Lido would link up with other exciting projects such as Eden Project North to open up health, tourism and education across the whole of Morecambe Bay. In early 2022, Grange Lido will finally begin to receive the care and attention that is sorely needed after nearly 30 years of neglect. Some 3.5 million people live within a 50 mile radius of the Lido and the Lake District attracts in the region of 40 million visitors each year. This catchment area and visitors to the Lake District will surely provide a substantial and sustainable market for a redeveloped Lido. 
Here at Save Grange Lido, we believe that the work which is finally due to start after so many years really is the first big step towards making the dream of a restored Lido in Grange come true. <laughs>